And another thing about time is that as a developer as well, and, and, and very enthusiastic in the open source development, how much, time, how much time do you actually spend on this open source development? That's my normal time. That is my normal time. <laughs> 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 it's really interesting to talk about. Uh, it. Actually, it, it is a topic in itself. You can hold, a, hold, hold one second. It, 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 it is an interesting question, yeah. and it varies. Um, in the last four weeks, I've done probably 15 hours of. Uh, open source development and releasing an update to a library that I developed five years ago, or rather ported from Perl to Ruby five years ago. In the uh, 12 weeks before that, nothing. Because I just, open source is what you need, and it's a volunteer position almost all the time, unless you're paid for it. Uh, and. I'm not in but, a position well, where I get well, to yet. To be, to, be, uh, to be exact, I'm not paid to work on open source. I'm paid to improve the compiler for Google. Okay. A side effect of my job <laughs> helps GCC. But <clears throat> when, when we modify the compiler, we first modify it in ways that will help the engineers, you know, the 6,000 software engineers we have in Google so that they're more productive. Yeah. And yes, we spend time, uh, you know, uh, reviewing patches and building the external community. But um, in general, people who are paid to companies that use open source, the, the engineers they hire is for to improve the yeah. code for the company. And as a side effect, you improve the source code for the community. Yeah. 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 Volunteers contribute between, I don't know, a uh, few hours a month to, to, uh, to maybe 20 hours a week. Well, it depends. <laughs> if you're not employed, okay. then you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. If you're not, if okay. you're not, if you're not, if you're not directly linked to the project, then you typically spend, like I said, a few hours a month up to about 20 hours a week, which is a big thing. So, uh, and the types of things you can be doing, depending on what you are contributing, is the difference. So, if you're a core developer, and people are kind of expecting that you'd be around to fix security bugs and to, uh, you know, then you kind of have to be around.